All right, let's keep Death Spy for sure against Rogue Acolyte. I guess the mulligans are getting easier for me. I'm seeing Blood Mage is a combo with Inner Rage. I probably wouldn't run Blood Mage and run the Hoarder if you didn't run Inner Rage, but it allows you to kill two, two attack, two health minions. It's always decent with Executed, I mean, <coughs> Whirlwind. I don't know if this is the right, but I'm gonna save my armor smith here. With this hand, I might even save my acolyte, play it more control. I think, yeah, the list is more, a little bit more reactive as well. Is this kind? So the only thing I'm thinking here is, do I really need to play something? Because if he plays the mech that buffs other mechs, plus two plus two, it'll be a five, five six. That's a problem for me. This is not going to help though, I have to go face. Come close and listen. Pro it doesn't even have to trade it like if I want to kill it. Actually I have to kill this one. That's pretty good, at least being with a 4-2. I really do prefer using frothings. For uh, for bursts, I guess I'm just gonna have to play like this though. I'm really limited on my combo potential now. That's a pretty good one. It actually makes some sense not to attack since he can trade now. Might make a lot of sense, but then it doesn't like guarantee that I can get through the shields easy if he can kill the 8 too anyways. I'm seeing mech rogue is kind of chunky, not as smooth as normal rogue though. Probably more minions, less spells, so... Might have been maybe a good idea. I can't really predict this deck going past turn 6, honestly. I predicted like Darren Sensei, but other than that, I don't have a good read. So I'm not going to really play too much about the read, like Death Spite try to kill something here. Yeah, it's fight for tempo. Just like, as much as possible. I don't really, like, setting up the whirlwind for after, right before Dr. Boom seems a little bit weird too. Since I don't really want to kill my own good bots. <laughs> Alright, come on, Blade Flurry. Give me that armor. It's still good for him, though. That's 10 armor, I believe, but still, I can lose last minion standing here and just like, because it's a minion based deck, if, if I just can't deal with every minion, I'll still lose, even if I have a lot of armor, if I run out of steam. Ah, this guy's toast. I am it's like he's out of steam too, though. Um, Dr. Boom really helped, just like a big minion. I can whirlwind attack this, try to save You know what? It doesn't even make sense. Let's just go do this. Full yellow mode. Actually makes more sense. I can't save my Doctor Room anyways. I'm just gonna get as much face damage as possible. I have double War Song. Uh, I should be able to kill him with Patron or something. The with the Whirlwind War Song, two Whirlwinds. Th that's pretty pretty much lethal. That's different. The Brotherhood shall come. I have a decent amount of lethals, actually. 
fact, I'm not even sure if that's not lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six damage from my hand, plus the whirlwind or dust bite. That's ten damage. It actually probably was fine to play one more song here. I probably won't need both, it just, I don't know. Could have gotten two extra face damage. Otherwise, like, I, I I don't know what I would do. Slowly die, let the board hit me, and try to draw draw, draw top deck Grom or Grim Patron. Um, You know, I have two, two inner rages, actually. Playing both Frothings early has kind of like, did kind of leave me kind of sick feeling about it because I almost feel like the maybe the game plan wasn't that great and I should have tried to combo him down Warsong plus the Frothings instead I used it for tempo on turn 3. Yeah, probably would have died, huh? <laughs> I guess, I guess, hmm, that's kind of a weird deck, because normally against tempo decks, you can play Frothing and then just win with Grim Patron. Like, for example, against Druid or Zoo. If you get enough Patrons, they can't come back. But Rogue is a special case in which they can play Furry as well. So, I guess it's really good that I had deck lists like this, because I actually had the Dr. Boom and Grom, so... This is I was actually tempted to like hold one of the cards here for Mirror Entity, but I don't I don't think it's good to hold one of the cards for Mirror Entity. I will just have to I don't know, deal with the later maybe. I mean, from what I've noticed though, Patron doesn't really Mirror Entity is pretty shit against Patron. Most of your individual minions are so weak, like even Patron, you can just go for it and just kill it. Another thing is like, I play like Warsong Patron in, on turn 8 with the Mirror Entity and I just like get an extra Patron because the Patron kills Warsong. Alright, so... I have an option of enraging this to 3-3, three, three, but that doesn't make that much sense since like this trades perfectly anyways here. Let's check for Duplicate. I don't know, see this is like, I don't know, I feel like I don't have enough cycle. Two inner rages, now what am I supposed to do? Hmm, I probably want to cycle my own blood mage ASAP. Doesn't seem that bad to give him a blood mage, honestly. I mean, he's kind of out of stuff to do, giving him a card is pretty bad, but, uh, yeah. Strike. I, mean, I could have saved it for a combo. I guess no, this makes more sense. I don't have. I'm not gonna get a combo turn because I don't have any combos. Something needs tinkering. Ah. 
Oh, that's why I plan a rage. I guess I can just plan away where I 100% I win this game, unless I get flame striked. Probably fine. If I get flame strike, I lose. Let's get rid of this. Uh, I can't use. I can't have spell power here. Or I'll kill my own grim patron. So double inner rage. I think it's better to do this on another one. Four, eight. Actually, I don't need to use both. But it's four enough is the question. Actually, four is... Uh, is it enough? Alright, four and execute. I could also do eight and no execute. I mean, it's not going to be 8, that's the thing, it's going to be 6, or 7, 7, I guess it's like 7 no execute or 8, 7 and no execute or 4 and execute, I don't know what's better, no, no, he, he has a coin, he has a coin, so I, I was thinking I would play around a little bit, but this is probably maybe not enough, huh, but otherwise, like, can it be not enough, like, can he even win if he doesn't have flame strength, I wonder if, like, uh, you would do 7 and execute just all in completely, I guess the execute doesn't make sense to hold back. Even if you get flame strike, you want to execute it the turn after, like anyway. So, yeah. Especially at low ratings, I see, <laughs> I see flame strike being more common than it should be in mech mage. All right. I guess it's. I still have to enrage. Like these are things that I don't know. It's, I actually don't think it's enough either, this board. I can still lose. Patron is really imba, honestly, so that's why everyone's playing it. Why is no why is no mission venter usually included? It's because you need car <laughs> look at my hand and you'll see why. Uh, wouldn't you wanna have a no mission venter? No way to damage anything else. I didn't have to play the war song, honestly. Get another card anyways, though. More armor. Three more damage. Might as well go all in. I'm not too close to losing this game because this 3-1 is useless without commanding shout a 3-1 patron is not any different than a 3-1 of any minion you can never it can never survive damage so it's really only this is my last patron if he just frost bolts it i guess he's already used two frost bolts but say he just fireballs that i can potentially lose i want to just go all in get as much damage as possible I guess my intuition is just throw everything here. Armorsmith against Zoo is not as good as what not even close as good as against Hunter. Cause Zoo doesn't really have one health minions anymore. Like people don't run Leper Gnome in Zoo. It's like Flame Imp, Voidwalker. They were they abusive, but usually it's abuse it's not gonna be able to trade into abusive. The abusive's gonna kill your Armorsmith with their other minion. <laughs> a really awkward hand. Two whirlwinds and execute. I need to cycle this hand for sure. Honestly, I don't know if it's because people don't know how to counter patron, but I honestly, it's probably just strong. It's not really just because people don't know how to counter it. Yeah, this is good. I can I'm gonna draw first. It's 
it's not really great to use my whirlwind here, especially since I can't kill 3 1. Double whirlwind seems bad, execute seems bad. This sort of contests the board. It, like, I can, like, it sets it up perfectly. I can just uh, attack, then whirlwind or something. If he trades, like, he hopefully doesn't have much power left to probably void call or void terror, which should be fine for me. Too bad I wasn't dumb enough to get the creeper. Because now I can't roll one down the spiders. I can either play the fire war axe, kill an extra 1 3, also have the axe equipped, or have a 1 2 left over, get an extra card. I guess I'm gonna do this. It seems like my win condition is gonna be drawing into the combo. By combo, I mean not the frothing one, but the other one. The patron combo. Especially if I can survive a, a turn where I play Emperor next turn, and then I can combo the Grim Patron with Warsong and, and cheap backup. That seems like the best way to win this game. Without the second execute in my hand, probably don't feel too good about just Grim Patreon Whirlwind here. Dr. Boom is good, but honestly, like in this type of deck, the Emperor effect is at least as big as Dr. Boom's tempo. Like Dr. Boom's additional strength compared to like drawing five Innervates or something. It's probably better just because my next turn will be so much stronger. Oh, for sure, actually, because I have the Bow Rage too. <laughs> Grim Patron, Blood Mage, Acolyte. Alright, I'm gonna try this. It could go bad for me, honestly. I wonder if there's a better way with Fireworks. This doesn't make much sense. That's for you. I could have coin axed and then attacked first. So this isn't that it bots? I don't think so though. Oops. Oh, I lost a card like that. Pierce7D, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. I wouldn't be surprised like the technical play is like the weakest part of my, my game in Hearthstone. That's why I never like playing decks like Rogue and Freeze Mage that much. I guess I'm better at conceptual play in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> the next card is in a rage. Wait, would that matter? Oh yeah, zero mana. I could actually... I'm not used to having in a rage actually. I just ended my turn. Well, I just worked out, but... Would have been better. <laughs> Although I could say it with Grom, it seems decent as well. So close lethal. Probably leave up this just in case of Malganus. What now? This doesn't allow me to suffer despite, but then it's so good. Can I die? I guess I'm not worried about dying. Oh, I do have execute anyways. No, I, that's fine. I can't die. It should be almost impossible to die here. And he's almost certainly dead next turn. <laughs> That's fun. That might actually save him. I'm not dead, but neither is he, maybe. I can't, it's because I can't activate my Grom. <laughs> Just that dumb. There's no such thing as mid-range Doom Lock anymore, because the differences were kind of minute to begin with from Zoo. It's just the mid, like, the new Zoo is not as aggro as before, but it's way stronger. I would assume that 
that deck has just evolved into Zoo. There's not too much of a reason to play it over Zoo. Like, that deck was good at fighting like Mech Mage and stuff. Zoo's even better, I'm assuming. Keeping Akali is something I'm not sure about against Rogue since it's a little bit weak to Deadly Poison, but it seems like the decks that that deck is good against the new Zoo is even better, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I don't see what the different strengths and weaknesses are. Like decks can be pointless if one deck's just better in every way than another deck. I'm gonna play Warax here so I can contest this three drop and then play like a three drop of my own like Acolyte. Let the pain speak to me. Kind of maybe get away. I don't have fireworks. Why would turn for make other decks viable? Just better in every way. Okay, yeah, it is important for me to save Frothing. I'm gonna play that way. I'm not gonna play Tempo Frothing. Probably slam this guy. Oh, that is weird. Okay, so this just makes more sense still. I also have the choice of executing it. I mean, Rogue, right? Who cares who I execute? I have been losing, I lost a couple games of BGH because this way I get to draw two cards anyways and I get to keep my Acolyte alive so it doesn't make sense to slam it and then trade into a 5 but now I'm not sure. There's Zen Thief, that's really what I'm only scared of. Slam is really good, especially with the Axe, I can slam Axe most of his minions. Can't play a Dex team 3 <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. No, but that doesn't make sense that uh, that doesn't make sense if it's the same class like Zoo and Demon Zoo. That only makes sense because you can't play Zoo and Demon Zoo either. Second for all two Grims. I guess I'm not used to using Grim for face that much. I guess for all them too. Alright, so probably want to not use none of my guys are mechs. I guess just slam. Maybe trade off everything. I guess at that point then it would make sense to just play frothing wait i think at this point no i'm not gonna play it for sure no i think i'd even if i would last turn maybe if it was correct it's i don't think it's correct anymore my hand is way too good with uh, the whirlwind effect and two inner rages for damage i think is there a 1-3, no. There's no unstable ghoul in this deck. I guess that's like still it made sense to play last turn. I have so much damage anyways, it almost seems like I have to pick and choose. Like I, I have so many combo effects. I always wonder how people <laughs> calculate these things so fast. Like I noticed when I was playing Clint, he was calculating the numbers so fast. That's always like I can never just know that that's 25 damage. I have no time for games. Oh yeah, wait, I need to think about lethal. If not, I'm just gonna attack it. War Song, Frothing, Attack, it's four. Oh, it's, it's, that's not nearly enough with the whirlwinds. I don't even have to think about that. This should be fun. I want to play as many minions as possible here. And then Grom next turn. Get in 12 damage. Yeah, I think so, actually. Basically, Grom in a rage, and then turn nine War Song Grim Patron. Actually, what's even more damage? I I can do it either either way. I have like Whirlwind as well. I might be able to just kill him next turn. Although I can't Whirlwind. I can do War Song Frothing in a rage in a rage, or just Grom in a rage and turn nine War Song Grim Patron in a rage Whirlwind. It should no matter what, I should get him somehow. Uh, he has three there's three minions left on board that makes the frothing plays a lot more damage all right so let me see how how i can do this math here oh i don't have frothing anymore how do you do this what? math? No. three two inner rages nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 
There's no whirlwind effect. I'm trying to think if there's like a math cheat you can do or something what to make it easier. It's, this is a little bit safer. I should still win next turn. If I set up the Whirlwind here, with two Whirlwinds, Warsong, Grim Patron, Inner Rage, Inner Rage, Whirlwind, I guess I'm going to be out of slots is the problem. Like I'm not going to get all that Grom Grim Patron damage in, but some might die and it'll replace others. I wonder how that's going to work. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a move I saw too. I just didn't see that why I killed it. I just thought I would need this for extra damage. I don't. I didn't think leaving this up was pretty big. Anyway, it's time to see what happens. I guess I should practice doing the math. So before just seeing what happens. So it's three. Uh, let's see. I, I can get three of them. Nine. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Eighteen. And then some more slots. Actually, what I know what's the best here is how to guarantee myself more damage is to suicide my armor smith so this might be better So that's like another trick to try to kill one of your own guys for the other whirlwind, I guess. I messed it up. I needed a suicide on Chromagus. So that's like another trick, I guess. Because it still didn't work out for me. I thought I could whirlwind it down, but it doesn't die before the Grim Patron procs. So you actually need to kill it before. See, these things are like so, like you have to run into these spots. Like, these are things that you would probably not know playing like these things the first time. It's really hard to do in the spur of the moment. I still think I lost one. I still think I lost, oh, because it'll, yeah, you're right. I did lose one from the first whirlwind, but then it didn't matter because I couldn't have gotten enough of the patrons down to one to suicide them all.